hello guys welcome back to my channel thanks for coming back and if you're a new subscriber thanks for coming as well please subscribe so right now i'm just simply going in with a bond orange shade and i'm using that to transition <laughs> so i'm transitioning with the um, bond orange shade you can use any random bond orange shade uh, eyeshadow that you have and now I'm going in with a blue shade it wasn't as deep as I wanted but that was like the only dark blue shade that I had in all my eyeshadow palettes so I just had to work with it like that so I'm using a very dense pointed brush it's a synthetic brush and I'm using it to place the dark blue shade in my uh, crease and I'm adding more pigment to make it darker I went in with black just to darken it a little bit but it still didn't give me the kind of um, pigment that I wanted I wanted the blue to be very very dark but well I just had to work with what I had now I'm blending the a blue um, eyeshadow that I put in my crease. I'm blending it upwards, but I'm using the same bond orange shade that I used before to blend out the blue that I applied before just to avoid any form of harshness. And then I'm also blending it upwards towards my brow bone. The eyeshadow look I'm going for is a cut crease look. I want to do a blue this look I'm adding more of the blue um, eyeshadow um, the blue eyeshadow to my crease just to darken it around where I will be cutting my 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 crease to make my cut crease sharp then I'm blending I'm blending the edges again I didn't mean for it to transfer up too close to my brow bone but it did so I just continued like that and then now I'm cutting my crease with a white primer I'm going to be cutting my crease above my lid today because I want a, a, I want a lot of space to work with when I'm applying the shadow I want the blue shadow to really show so I went above where I would normally cut my crease I went above my lid so it's like a half cut crease look now repeat the same thing on my other eyes When I'm done with the cut crease, I will then apply a light blue shimmer, shimmery eyeshadow on my lid. But I'm not going to be applying it to the inner corner of my lid. I'm just going to apply it at the center. Then I would apply a white eyeshadow at the inner corner of my lid. I always like to do this because I find out that it makes the inner corner of my eyes pop more it makes it more uh, pronounced it just makes the whole eyeshadow look look more you know vibrant so yes i'm going in now with a light blue shimmery eyeshadow on my lid the center of my lid and i'm going to apply it on both of my eyelids Then I'm repeating it like I said on my other eyes. Now I'm applying the white eyeshadow like I said before at the 
beginning of my lid the inner corner of my lid the inner part of my lid so i'm applying that white to make it pop a bit and i'm blending it into the blue it is always good whenever it says you're adding maybe two or more colors on your lid to always make them blend into each other that way the transition is smooth and it looks beautiful i'm blending out the edges of the eyeshadow that i applied on my crease i'm blending it upwards towards my brow bone then i'm cleaning up my brow bone again i want it to be pronounced because the eyeshadow ended up covering most part of my brow bone so i'm just adding a little bit of concealer there and i'm blending it out so now i'm going with a purple shade and i'm using it to blend out the edges of my lid the outer v of my lid so i'll be blending the purple shade into the blue to give it like a shadow effect So yeah that's it this is just the whole step of this eyeshadow look that these are the only colors that i'll be using i used the deep blue on my crease no i initially used a um uh what do you call it i originally used a burnt orange shade to transition then i went in with a deep blue shade and i applied a lighter blue shade like an icy blue on my um lid and yeah, that's it and i used the purple on my outer v now i'm simply applying the purple shade um, below my eyes just slightly below my waterline i would also go in with the dark blue shade that i used before then the inner corner of my waterline i'll apply the shimmery shadow that i used before at my inner corner of my lid that that white shadow i would apply it at the inner corner of my lid and that's all and i'm going to dust off the powder that i have under my eyes because this eyeshadow had a lot of fallout that was why i applied i waited to do my contour and highlight and i applied my setting powder so that when i do my under eye it doesn't mess up the whole look so i can dust it off so yeah that's simply it i'm going to apply lashes off camera and um, that's it please like share comment and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate that you take out time to watch me and um, i promise to continue to put out interesting eyeshadow looks and more beauty contents for you guys soon and yeah add more interesting contents that you guys would enjoy so please stay tuned please 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 subscribe thanks for the support you're giving me so far it is so 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 appreciated i really really appreciate it this video was not planned at all i was just bored and then i felt okay why don't you just film so i didn't plan anything anything i just did today i just did it you know <laughs> yeah and i like it it's looking beautiful i'm applying wing liner now and the wing uh, the liner i'm using is from tara it's tara they are liquid eyeliner so i'm using it to create a wing on my eyes so that when i apply my lashes um if in case i even if i make any mistakes it's not going to show like the black is just going to cover it and you're not going to see like my own um, lashes anymore my lash line anymore just um, a simple wing line nothing too dramatic because the, for me the eyeshadow is already very loud So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Love you guys.